Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And verse 6 in the book of Matthew, it's in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See, they be not trouble, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not by and by. This is the book of Revelations 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, verse 2, Son of man, set thy face against Gog and the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Verse 3, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh thy power. Behold, I am against thee, O God, and chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Verse 4. In the book of Ezekiel, and the holy scriptures in the reeds of verse 4. And I will turn thee back and put thy hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all the armies, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed from all sorts of armor, even a great company with buckler and shields, and all of them handling swords. Verse 5, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, and with them, all of them, with shields and helmets. Verse 6, and Gomer, and all his bands, and house of Togomer, and all, and of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with them. Verse 7, be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy companies that are assembled unto thee, and be thou in guard unto him. I mean, unto them. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shalom to you. I came out there. And this is another news article in the news. And the update of a uh, second world was passed. Behold, the third world coming quickly. And another reference to this news article. Uh, wars and rumors of wars. And nations to rise against nations. And this is a... Uh, a sit down lesson through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha. A quick sit down lesson on this July the 8th, 2022, at 8 30 p.m. Central Standard Time on this Friday night. And this is uh, in the news on July the 7th, 2022, from RT.com, World News, Alternative News Around the World. And the highlight of this news article in the reads for today. It says, U.S. eyes direct war with Russia, Valerius. The U.S. wants to launch attacks from Poland, right? Because, you, you know, once Joe Biden, uh, early this year, I believe, you know, he added an additional 3,000 troops plus another 1,000 additional troops to be deployed in Eastern Europe, you know. And, um... And Joe Biden, uh, I believe I was looking at the news not too long ago. Uh, I believe um, it was about like an hour, about two hours ago. I was looking at CNN, even though CNN news ain't all the way true all the way. But, you know, I was looking at the news on uh, CNN, on uh, cable TV, you know, saying uh, the Biden administration added a new 300 million military aid to Ukraine because you know it's a war still constantly intensifying over there you know the Russia-Ukraine wars and stuff like that you know 
now coming from this information right here even though it's just a rumor because remember in the scriptures in the book of matthews uh 24 the seventh chapter i believe it was saying you know it was going to be an increase of uh, wars and rumors of wars in the last days and that's what we were seeing you know huh <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I want to go, but I don't do that shit, stupid ass shit fight when it was over. Right, yeah. We ain't got time to hear this shit. Yeah, I'm blaming just be on the safe side. You're right. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. You know, y'all getting, you probably getting here trying to fight or something. Yeah. I don't need that in there. Can't say it's good. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's why I didn't go about 6% on this shit. Right, I had that money. Yeah. Salakia. Um, Salakia, I was talking to my mom. But, you know, back to what I was saying, you know, and it goes into the direct of, uh, you should hear a lot of uh, increase of uh, wars and rumors of wars in the last days. Even though you're going to hear uh, the rumors of wars as just only becoming a rumor, then you're going to hear these uh, wars and rumors of wars increasing in the last days of it becoming a reality, you know, and that's becoming an uh, increase in war, you know. And I'm going to begin for edification set. It says the U.S. eyes direct war with Russia, Belarus. The U.S. wants to launch an attack from Poland and the ballistic states. Military intelligence chief claim. The U.S. is making plans for a direct war against Russia and its allies, Belarus. Right, because Russia's closest ally currently at the moment is Belarus, you know. Because you got Belarus troops uh, stationed there, along with Lithuanian troops, uh, Poland troops. So it's a lot of deployment going on over there in Eastern, U Eastern uh, Europe, you know. And it says um, uh, the head of Belarus military intelligence warned on Thursday the scenario is becoming more likely as a proxy war right you're gonna hear a lot of uh, a lot of increase of proxy wars between the nations as well too you know especially in the middle east a lot of proxy wars over there as well too in in different parts around the world as well too and ukraine continue on with the reading uh in ukraine and other ways to hurt the two nations are falling and he claimed the the territory of Poland as well as the ballistic states is being turned into a staging ground for which the U.S. plans to unleash a new bloody conflict in Europe, targeting the Russian Federation and its allies. Right, because the Most High, he's going to stir up these, uh, you know, he's going to stir up the uh, the Russians, you know put them back into that warlike type mode you know because you know russia russia uh resembles the bear you know in the book of ezekiel verse one all the way to verse seven you know that's that scripture of those scriptures of in the verses that i brought out you know as well too before i was reading this news article and it says uh the Russian Federation is its, and its allies is a major general Russian Kos, Kosgin said if I pronounce his name right and he cited NATO training troops for rapid deployment in Eastern, Eastern Europe in the development of anti-ballistic missile systems in the region 
as evidence of the looming crisis. Further proof he claims it is dangerous and attempts by some Polish political cations to initiate a return of so-called historical Polish region in the western uh, Ukraine in Belarus. It says the general said his legacy uh, right, his legacy believed that the western nations were preparing for an attack against Belarus and Russia under the guide of the tyranny of Russia from launching an invasion which is how NATO justify its military build up in Eastern Europe Belarus did not favor the scenario of a war but it will act decisively if it's come true uh, Kos Koskin said he said an escalation of becoming increasingly possible because the West is coming to realization that tradition methods of hydrant aggression against the Russia and Belarus are now producing results it wants. The direct confrontation with Poland and the ballistic nations at Stars will be a similar hostility in the Ukraine in the terms of potential origin. Koskin said Ukraine was deliberated, deliberately pumped with weapons since 2014. It was trained to fight and fight particular against the Russians, uh, he, he said. Unfortunately, the similar anti-Russian and lately anti belarus sentiments have been rejected. I mean, injected in the same way into the minds of people of Poland in a ballistic state. Uh, he added, uh, Russia sending troops into Ukraine back in February of 24th of this year, citing Kavi's failure to implement an amiss agreement designing to give the region of the Donskis and Lagostis special status with the Ukrainian state. The uh, protocols broken by Germany and France was the first sign in 2014. Former uh, Ukraine President Petro Polesko has since admitted the Kaviv main goal was to use ceasefire to buy time and create powerful armed forces. In February 2022, the Crimean, the Kremlin meant to say, a regional Donbass Republic as independent states and demanding that Ukraine officials declare itself a natural country that will never join any Western military bloc. <coughs> it says Kavi insists Russian offense was completely unprovoked. So yeah, you know, like I mentioned before, with the buildup of militaries in eastern Ukraine, I mean, uh, Eastern Europe, and the continued uh, deployment of uh, soldiers over there as well, too. So, hey, it is going to get to that point when the United States have a completely direct war with Russia. Because, like I mentioned before, you know, the President Joe Biden and the Biden administration keep on funding more and more and more millions and billions of dollars funding to Ukraine to fund them with money and the Western allies as well too because you got uh because you got NATO the Western countries and the United States that's allied with Ukraine to so going against Belarus and Russia as well too so they all going to get caught in the conflict you know and I believe it was another one too. Uh, it was, I believe, it's just a rumor uh, in the Kyiv region. I believe of Ukraine, uh, German soldiers were setting up an attack or something like that. So that's n another war, a rumor of war, right there. So you know, these uh, wars, or rumors of wars, is definitely increasing more and more and more. You know, and it's gonna increase and intensify. You know. Especially with all these deployment of these soldiers in eastern Ukraine. Like I mentioned before, Lithuanian, 
Valerius troops, Poland troops, United States troops, and even more, you know. So uh, these expect for these tensions to increase and be more often here in the news more than ever, you know. So in that region is going to increase and it's going to intensify more and more and more. If, you know, once the United States uh, continue to fund these military aid to Ukraine and the Western allies as well, too, that fully supports Ukraine, you know. So, yeah, you know, I believe it was a spokesperson of, uh, I don't know if he was a spokesperson of Russian. He made a statement about like uh, a week ago or two, I believe. He was saying the uh, Western allies and the, uh, you know, uh, and United States, you know, that's allies with Ukraine. You know, they uh, he warned that, uh, you know, once they keep on funding them money and military assistance to Ukraine, you know, that kind of make the war even more longer than ever. Because first, you know, when this invasion first started, you know, uh, Russia looked at it as a military uh, operation, you know. Even though it looked like way more than that, it looked like a war, <laughs> you know, even though they look at it as an in a operation invasion on the Ukrainian troops, you know. So, hey, so expect to see, you know, Russia, they said, uh, best believe the Russians going to get stirred up. You know, Heavy Five is going to stir up these Russians, get back into that warlike bear logo type and position of war, you know. And wars and rumors of wars is going to increase around the world, you know. And we, we're we definitely living in the book of Revelations. The second world was passed. Behold, the third world coming quickly. Because we are definitely living in the stages of uh, World War Three. And it's going to furthermore continue, escalate even more than ever. Proxy wars, commotions of wars, nations surrounds against nations and different kingdoms of different nations going against each other, clashing against one another on an economic scale, verbal scale. And it's going to get out to a full war scale as well, too, as we see in these days approaching in the last days. So with that... I hope this uh, lesson was edifying through the uh, spirit, power, grace, and mercy of the Hawaii Yahweh And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, uh, Bahashem, Wakar, Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom and the ball, ball, ball.